finally happened to me! So I'm in Marshalls, and there's two pairs of the uh, Air Max 290s. USA. So, I see somebody has these listed in my area, every size. So they probably rated a Marshalls for a hundred free shipping, and they're sixty. At that point, you should just be leaving them for the casual consumer. I mean, come on, man. Alright, so out of Nike, all I got was those uh, Zoom Crater 1 Jordan 1s. They were 170 minus 30%. I mean, they're really only going for about 160 right now, so I'm just gonna, so I'm just gonna hold those. And then I got some uh, Blazer tie-dyes for cheap. And uh, I think those are selling for over 100, so I grabbed those. They had those Jordan 19s uh, for 225, way too much. There was some white Jordan mids on the side shelf thing for 80, but I passed on those. And uh, yeah, that's about it that was interesting, so. Is this that expensive soccer ball that everyone's been getting? That's a good price. Got one of the good uh, $200 Clay Thompson jerseys. Clay Thompson is uh, much better than Curry. So look at this. We got the uh, Super Bronze in four and a half, 60. Just sitting, gonna sit forever. All right, left Ross only got one jersey, but the crazy part is, is this Clay Thompson jersey is probably the best one you could get. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no more mediums left. All the mediums sold, and they all sold for 200. I'm gonna list this immediately. I'm gonna just make it 250, man. I don't care. I'm gonna do 250 and see what happens. So, only one jersey, but I think it's the best one you can get. By the way, this Ross right here is in Durham. So if you're a Durham reseller, you asleep, man. You asleep. You should have set like eight alarms three minutes apart so even if you hit the snooze they just keep buzzing and buzzing and you can't do nothing about it but get up and go to Ross that's the kind of reseller I want to be one day when I grow up guys how many vapor max do you think I need to sell to get a McLaren
qualify as one of the best Nike finds of all time. So it looks like somebody else finally noticed the uh, Jordan 1 low Paris on the aisle. But I grabbed uh, all the small sizes. I mean, they're only $100. And they're all going for like $390 to $450. It's crazy, man. And just like that, all gone. I make sure my eyebrows are straight. All right, guys. So what just happened in there? is my greatest Nike find of all time. 10 pairs of Jordan 1 Low Paris, $100 each. I got all sizes, eight, nine, and nine and a half, all selling from like 370 to 450. Yes. I just walked in, I was obviously the first person to even notice them. No one else was looking at them. It's kind of a plain white shoe. And I was like, is this what I think it is? And I looked it up and I saw the bids like $400 and up. I was like, oh, shit. So I grabbed as many as I could, which was 10 pairs altogether. So as I was waiting in line, a couple other guys noticed, man. And it was like piranhas. It was like piranhas, man. They just feasted on the remains. So after I checked out, I came back in, man. Shelf was cleared out. Uh, just like that, man. Like, that's crazy. Like, finds like that literally last, like, 25, 30 minutes. And if you're just lucky enough to be there at that time, I mean, that's what happens, dude. Finally. So tired of looking at Instagram and profit finds and all these people find all this wild shit. And I find Air Max 97s. Air Max 2017s. No, 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 no. Not this time. Jordan 1 Low Paris. Paris. Yeah. Anyway. So there's the other dude that got a bunch of pairs. Um, checking his trunk right now. Getting all excited. Taking pictures. Probably for the gram. You know, you got to get that clout. Doing the thing for clout. I was just on Instagram and I saw the Paris Lows on Profit Finds. Um, so I guess those dudes that bought all the other pairs submitted them on profit fine. So yeah, this is them right there. They got all the big sizes, 12s, uh, 11s, 10s, and they got the one nine and a half display. Pop. Yeah, so uh, I told you, man, they got to do it for the clout. Do anything for clout. And if you're in DC, I'm sorry. This happened in your city. You asleep?